Hi there, my name is Itka Metalkova and I work at K Leuven in Belgium on improving the precision of 3D printed metal parts. The title of my research work is very long. I'll make it a little bit easier for you. So we talk about metal parts, which are made by additive manufacturing, also called 3D printing, and a technology which is called laser powder fusion. We also talk about increasing precision of these parts, which is happening in situ, meaning during the 3D printing process. And we are combining this laser powder fusion with material removal using laser erosion. You can see that the quality of uh, S-built 3D printed parts is lower compared to the conventionally machined surfaces. Uh, and the quality of the 3D printed parts also depends on the surface orientation with respect to the building direction. The goal of this work is to improve the precision of upfacing surfaces, meaning horizontal upfacing surfaces, part edges, and inclined upfacing surfaces. And all this during the process and using only lasers. If we would like to make such a pyramid shaped part, we first need to divide it into layers and then every time we deposit a fine layer of powder which we selectively melt with a laser and then we deposit another layer uh, which we melt and so on and so on until we have the full part. If we would like to increase the precision of the last horizontal surface then we can laser polish or remelt it. This way we can improve the surface roughness from RA typically between 10 to 12 micrometers to around 5 to 6 micrometers. However, with remelting we observe that the edge is actually building up. This is mostly related to the material evaporation in the middle of the sample so that we end up with a slightly raised edge which can compromise the part's precision. That's why we installed in the 3D printing machine a second laser. The second laser is a pulsed laser using the same scanner as the continuous wave laser. And we have there a mirror switch so that we can choose which laser we are actually using. During the printing process, we can send high intensity pulses towards the target material so that we can evaporate or melt material. This way we can create new features such as holes, grooves or texture the surface, but we can also correct existing features. We can correct, for example, these elevated edges I've just mentioned. So by scanning with the pulsed laser along the edge, many times with fine steps, we can remove enough material to get close to the intended shape, such as a 90 degree angle in here. Another option is to erode the material only roughly and then repeat a remelting step. The advantage is that in the end we receive about the same microstructure as in the initial state. As you can see here, the inclined surfaces have this stair-like aspect, but these we cannot remelt as we did for the horizontal surfaces, because there is still powder lying on these steps during the manufacturing. So if we want to in situ increase the precision of these surfaces, we have to find another solution. And to do this, we are using a byproduct of the laser erosion, which are strong shock waves. So by scanning the part and the stairs, we can remove the powder lying on top and we can remelt these normally hidden surfaces. So we have this third function that we can use the pulse laser for, which is selective powder removal. Concretely, if you would like to make such a part with a horizontal and inclined surface, after building, we see only the horizontal surface and the inclined surface as covered by loose powder. In order to improve the surface quality, we scan the part with the pulsed laser so did we remove the powder using these shock waves. And once the uh, surface is powder free, then we can remelt it. So that this way we can significantly improve the surface roughness, even on the inclined surfaces. At the end, we can produce very nice surfaces, even though they are inclined. However, we have to first optimize the powder removal process before going to remelting. Otherwise, we attach the powder to the remelted surface. Here are some of our publications and conference talks. And I would like to thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to write me. Or you can also check the website of our PalmSquared project.